Hey everyone, this is Geki, and I'm going to go through Gogi decks in Fighting EX Lair. Let's go. So guys, Gogi decks are a core element of Fighting EX Lair. They have many purposes, such as giving characters abilities, buffing aspects of your character's strengths or weaknesses, and they can accentuate playstyles and add a uniqueness among people using the same character. Think of them as the groove system from Capcom vs SNK2, or like isms in Street Fighter Alpha 3. Gogi decks are not, I repeat, not like Street Fighter X Tekken's gem system. They dramatically change matchups and certain aspects once they activate, and they stay the rest of the match and drastically change how a match is played. For example, if you like a zoning character, you can choose a specific deck to make them more aggressive or give them more mix-up options. That's the creativity of Fexel. Let's take a look at the first deck, Aggro. Aggro is easy to use. Just like the name, this deck is for rushdown playstyle or characters that want to pressure you, kind of like Shadowgeist, Volcano Rosso, Hokuto. The illusion in the deck also helps you avoid a big combo once that you can't control, unfortunately. And Erase Blow helps against zoning characters and projectiles if your character doesn't have one. So this is a good deck for getting in. The higher the number on Rampage gets, the more damage you do. But you have to keep it high by constantly attacking. Juggernaut is easy to use. While the main Gogi is Hades, the key to making this deck work its magic is activating Guard Break. That's using your heart attack four times to build the gauge so it completes. The passive Gogi are also really well balanced because it gives you meter up, attack up, and speed up. Use this deck if you want to have a possible semi-invincible wake up and want to shatter your opponent's defense with unblockable overheads. This deck works with really anyone, so it just depends on your playstyle. Shinobi is an average to use deck. It's a deck for mix-ups and people who love to shimmy and mix people up. Arguably, it's one of the best decks in the game because of its versatility with Ghost and Guard Break. And to fully utilize it, you need to be good at throw baiting. And honestly, this deck works with basically anyone in the game. It depends on you. Infinity is an easy to use deck also, a highly debated deck as being best in the game. No doubt. Incredibly strong for any character that converts well with super meter, such as Alan, Darun, Shiraze, Jack, or Hook Hookto because of their juggle potential. Or, if you love having super meter always at the ready and ready to go, this deck then is for you. It does take some time to activate, but the payoff is definitely worth it. Miracle is very hard to use. It's probably the most powerful deck in the game, but it takes a strong understanding of the game's mechanics and a very specific game plan to win. Characters that could utilize this deck really well are Kairi, Hokuto, Garuda, and Pullum. You need to play a playstyle that wants to lengthen the matches, timer stall, lend lots of special moves on hit or block, and, doesn't, and your character shouldn't rely on using a lot of meter to win. If you activate this deck, it'll be incredibly difficult for your opponent to finish you off. <laughs> Stealth Raptor is average to use. If you're a King of Fighters fan, you will love this deck. It's really great for adding mix-ups and great for beating players that like to use a lot of crouching light kick and crouching medium kick in neutral. If your character causes a lot of hard knockdowns, or you want to give your character some more Oki options or more mix-ups on knockdown, then this is a great deck to use. Berserker is an average to use deck. Pressure is the theme of the deck. It gives your character strong pressure and the ability to hit projectiles so you can get in. Having normals that can chip are very threatening, especially for characters like Shadowgeist and Garuda with their moves and specials that are plus on block that can continue pressure. 
It's incredibly scary if one touch will kill the opponent as well. Plus, having six chains means you can have up to six attacks on your opponent that they have to get chipped by. Double Face is average to use. Potentially, it's the most offensive deck in the game, with stuff like Guard Cancel, Illusion, and Hades activating if you lost the previous round. And this deck is brimming with defensive mechanics. Six Chain activates when you win the round, and it helps characters to safely confirm easier and also land more juggle hits as well. If you enjoy lots of options on defense, this is the deck for you. <laughs> Skydancer is average to use. It grants the user a full screen jump that gives you a mix up anywhere on the screen. Building the EX Arrow Gogi is reliant on the opponent's jump patterns. Using a zoning like playstyle to build EX Arrow is a good way to do so. Chip up, frenzy, and guard break make this deck extremely threatening late game. It's also very fun and a versatile deck with lots of untapped potential in my eyes. Nightmare is kind of average to use. A very unique deck that grants you meter on knockdowns if you're close to your opponent while they are down. And once you build Soul Drain, the second Gogi in the list, you will become a leech that your opponent has to be very afraid of. The double speed up combined with Ghosts makes this an excellent deck for shimmies and whip punishing in neutral. Soul Drain also works with throw animations as well. It's the perfect deck if you want to steal resources from your opponent like a leech. Bebel is also kind of average. It's an amazing deck for players and characters that love hit confirming and doing it well. It rewards you highly with Desperation Gogi and the passive buffs to each aspect of your character. Guard Cancel is always a welcome addition, as you have great but simple offense and a solid defensive option. Use this deck if you don't need anything fancy, just big, raw damage. Also a side note, Justin Wong also won EVIL with Blair using this deck. Thunderbolt is pretty easy to use. It gives you a fast, full screen teleport that appears directly in front of your opponent. You still get momentum like you would when you run, so you can do a full combo if you successfully land a hit. The rest of the Gogi buff your overall damage and Frenzy turns you into a powerhouse the closer you get to zero health. Sort of a comeback mechanic but not really, you still have to do the work. This is a great deck for anti-zoning and closing the gap with your opponent. Fantasista is sort of hard to use, but depends on the character. It's probably the most confusing deck to newer players, but it's also very strong once you understand. This deck is based around people who like to do special moves or supers with a reversal timing. All that's required is doing something that allows the timing to appear, either immediately after blocking something or on wake up, for example. You can use it for characters with invincible reversals, but that's not always the case. I think this is a very unexplored deck with lots of potential. Supernova is very hard to use. Like Miracle, this is a late game Gogi deck with explosive power hidden in the Gogi. If you build the Overload Gogi to activate this deck, you become the scariest player on offense with power to destroy anyone in one big combo. Finally, Grabmaster. It's a very easy to use deck. If you basically want to turn any character with a command grab into a grappler, this deck is for you. I recommend only using it if they have a command grab just to fully utilize all the gogi in the deck. Erase Blow helps you shut down projectiles so you can grab more often, get closer to people. Having an extra 30% range is quite huge and you can still car cancel into grab from any normal or command normal. Use this deck if you want everyone to fear your character's command grabs. It's very fun. Thanks for watching my video guys on the Gogi decks of Fighting EX Slayer. I want you to explore as much as you can with all the characters and all the Gogi that you like or that you're interested in and see what you come up with. Send me anything you find or post it in the comments below. Here's one just for fun that I came up with just yesterday.